which is one of the central themes in this year's Cancer Awareness Campaign, the revival of hope. So today, as we join hands to save thousands of women, let us promote self-examination and regular checkups through mammograms to become more aware of our bodies, to exercise, and to most of all, to eat healthy. Today, our bright pink attire represents a hope for survival and the number of lives survived from cancer. And let us continue to use our influence to foster awareness for early detection so together we can give hope and save lives. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Such a good reminder, and I want to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Ramsami. Welcome, Dr. Ramsami. Dr. Ramsami is the advisor to the Minister of Health and a former Minister of Health himself. Uh, we have with us this morning from GBTI um, subsidiary, the Ghana America's Merchant Bank, who himself is a cancer survivor. Please help me welcome Mr. Isabel to share a brief remarks. that is really close to my heart coming from a family that was, was riddled with cancer grandmother aunt, and myself being some fiber of leukemia and with all protocols being observed Dr. Ramsamy welcome the CEO of GBTI Mr. Foster and the rest of the executive team of, of GBTI and of course our colleagues from Impressions thank you for hosting this together with us and inviting us to this prestigious event just to, to really say what has been said before, one of the most important things is healthy lifestyles. It was unfortunate that I had to wait until I was 55 to start exercising regularly and eating properly, thanks to DBTI, because we in, in, in started a program of, of fitness with a, a dedicated trainer that comes here four days a week. And I've been trying to encourage much of my younger colleagues to join us. Don't wait until you're 55 like me. Try and get healthy, live healthy, it helps. If there's one thing that can really make your body less hospitable for cancer cells, it's healthy eating, regular exercise. We are extremely proud to be part of this, this initiative today that will help expose and, and, and educate people about healthy lifestyles, how, how to fight cancer. Of all the promotions and, 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 and education that is needed to, to educate people of how to deal with cancer once you see fantastic disease. And this and it affects so many of us and I, I, all I can ask today is that we all work together on this and maybe to encourage all the other corporate entities in Ghana to, to help be a bigger part of this important um, initiative that helps make lives more bearable when, when you do such as any type of cancer. I think that's one of the most important things having to, 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 to carry my old man to his cancer, cancer and, and looking at all the support I had when I had cancer. That, I think that's the most important thing. Family members, colleagues, friends coming together and just being there for that person. That, that is the most important thing that we could, that I could, I could give you as, 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 as part of my experience. Thank you very much everyone and let's work together on this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gustavo. We heard it there. And a lot of times we know what we have to do or we know what we should do, but we are hesitant to take that first step. And so we have a great initiative at GBTI. We have our fitness program. And so we want to encourage you, much of the staff as possible, to come out and you know be part of that. Use the opportunity that is available to us. Um, I now invite Dr. Ramsami from the Ministry of Health to share brief remarks with us. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everybody. Um, I am happy that I got a chance to come and join with you this morning. Breast cancer is a killer. It does not have to be. We, by being able to take preventive action through lifestyle, and other public health measures 
could reduce the number of cancers generally and in particularly breast cancer. In Guyana, we have approximately 700 cases, documented cases of cancer. 23% of that are breast cancers. Breast cancer is ranked number one in Guyana among the cancers. It turns out that breast cancer also ranked number one globally. There are several actions that we can take. And whilst the Ministry of Health and the government of Guyana must take leadership in ensuring that there is a public package of services, including preventive services, to prevent cancers, the government alone cannot successfully fight cancer like any other diseases and illnesses anywhere in the world. It has to be a partnership. I am happy to see that the partnership in the fight against cancer is expanding in time. I recall those days when I was minister in the early days when it was the Ministry of Health alone. Today we are not alone in the fight and that is a good sign. But we have made, whilst we have made progress, there are still gaps that can be filled and financial resources is not the only impediment. We have to remove those. The Minister of Health has asked me to make sure that people know that we are putting together for the new cancer control, prevention and control strategy a publicly guaranteed package of service that not include, not only include preventive measures, public awareness and education, but also improve early access and diagnostic services, treatment and care. We are concerned that the mortality rate among cancer patients remain high. We believe that we can significantly reduce that rate. We are concerned that at least between 35 to 40 percent of all deaths in this country which is about six to seven thousand per year, all deaths, not just cancer deaths, that among all deaths, between 35 to 40 percent are premature deaths, deaths that should not occur. Unfortunately, that is the story of the world also. It means that with the right programs with the right investment, Guyana could reduce the number of deaths in this country pre the pre by preventing all the premature deaths by at least 20 to 30 percent. 2,000 lives, 2,500 lives actually, are lost in this country each year prematurely. That is, they die before the age of 65. If we are going to increase our life expectancy far above 70, 
then we have to be able to fight cancer. And so today I want to thank GBTI. I want to thank Impressions, our colleagues at the ministry, the NGOs in Guyana, and just citizens coming out to increase awareness and ensuring that both the government and the private sector provide the services we need. And one last point to bring some hope to all citizens in this country. The president has announced the establishment of a women's and children's hospital that we are already in planning stages for putting together the services, etc. This is not going to be a general hospital where women and children go. It will be a hospital with very specialized services. And one of those will be specialized diagnostic and treatment. And one of the areas for focus is oncology. We want to transform. We want to transform how we deal with cancer in this country both from preventive, early diagnosis, and, and, and ensuring that people live longer, that we can manage. And we want to ensure that for those who, for whatever reason, we are not able to save, that they have the right and appropriate palliative care so they could live with dignity and so you will see not long from now prior to 2022 the announcement of a package of services for cancer in Guyana so let me thank all of you for joining us let's ensure that every Guyanese citizen, every boy and girl in school is aware of cancer, is aware of the individual actions we can take, that we can eat well, we can exercise well, we can prevent those things like tobacco and alcohol and other environmental factors from bringing maladies to our doors. If we all do that, Guyana could take our place in the Caribbean and in the world and say, we may be a small country, we had had our tough times, but we can also lead the world in a more dignified, a more appropriate response to a killer disease called cancer. Thank you all very much. God bless. Thank you, Dr. Ramsan. And I just want to use the, this opportunity to brag about all that we have been doing here at GBTI. We actually have an internal competition, an awareness competition. So we were seeing all the creativity coming out from the branches. Um, but I think so far Kingston is the best. So um, we, we have that ongoing and we've also launched this year for the first time a GBTI Care Fund where because we believe that we need to help our own and we have you know, we have stories of ourselves here at the bank. So we are we are taking the lead in the awareness and we will continue to do that. Um, so I now invite you, thank you Dr. Ramsamy again for that wonderful message and for bringing some hope. Our message this morning is hope. And so I invite you, if you have not done so as yet, to leave your hope message on our hope board. With that, we've come to the end of our program. Um, thank you for coming. Um, Jim, Mr. Foster, he doesn't like to be called Mr. Foster. Jim, can I invite you and Mr. Isava, Sean, and the members of the exec team, perhaps with Dr. Ramsamy, for a photo op.
So for those of you who do not know what's going on here and just tune into the Guyanese Critic Live, this is the Impressions, a collaborative effort between Impressions and GBTI Bank uh, launching the Hope for Guyana Cancer Awareness Campaign. And we have Dr. Leslie Ramsami um, signing, putting a signature to the HOPE sign. Um, also the CEO for Impressions and a number of um, members of the GBTI group are fixing their signatures. Just to give a bit of the story behind this, this is I Love Guyana sign, and it's just outside of GBTI uh, headquarters, uh, opposite the Pegasus Hotel and the new Pegasus Suite. And where the Hope sign presently stands, and it is Hope for Breast Cancer, um, where that sign stands, just behind that is the Guyana sign. And nothing more interesting than the fact that where the Guyana sign, I love Guyana stands, hope has overtaken for a while. And it is hope for Guyana, it's hope for Guyanese women, it's hope that someday no woman will have to suffer from breast cancer. By the way, cancer is something that tears apart families, tears apart lives, cuts short um, beautiful lives. Uh, this, this affects our mothers and those breasts that we're talking about um, are the breasts that nurtured us and made us the men who we are today. Um, you know, so they're not all mothers that are affected by this, but um, we all have to come together and stand up and fight for the women who brought us, uh, brought us into this world and have nurtured us into being who we are. Um, you know, funny enough that the hope, the breast cancer hope sign um, that is placed here by Impressions and supported by GBTI stands in front of the Guyana sign. And what, that, what does that say? It says that the foundation of, of what is here and, and what's been built here is a unique one it's Guyana we all love Guyana and now it moves on it metamorphosizes itself into showing that we love our mothers we love our sisters and GBTI and Impressions is willing to keep their fight and cause in the limelight and show care for them something that's very very important um, so the Guyanese critic is here coming to you from just outside the the National Trust, the um, Human Abbey. Um, and there's so much here that speaks to who we are and um, where we're going as a people. And although we have our differences, we have our issues. This is an important part of life and development itself, our mothers, our sisters. This is an important part of our culture. Um, so this is very much needed your support you can share this and you can let the world know that we are also in the fight you let Guyanese mothers and sisters know that we are here for them and we care for them and there's hope for them the Guyanese critic coming to you from just outside the I love Guyana sign um, just outside of GBTI headquarters um, where impressions and GBTI has launched the hope cancer campaign